This is my diary. She's my best friend. She's been with me since I was 10. Granda gave it to me. She's the only one who listens and I will protect it with everything I have. So don't even try to touch it, Karen. I wish my diary was a real person. But if one day my diary magically turns into a human, it will be amazing. I will have the best friend ever. She would truly understand me because it would be like a clone of myself. Right? <laughs> Why am I kidding? That will never happen. Hey, I I do have friends at school, okay? It's just hard to know who I can really trust. And do I want to get my emotions hurt? No. I do not want to be that person on Instagram who shares their friendship problems with everyone. It's annoying. Stop. No one cares. Look at them being depressed and all because of friendship. Grow up. For me, I rather not tell anyone about my problems. Who knows what they will do with them? They, they go back on me or threaten me or I don't know. I'm just being cautious. Should I just take my diary? Thanks. June 17, 2020. This morning, my mom nagged at me for bringing you everywhere. I got survive you on my diary. Oh, and I played volleyball in school today. Remember how I used to play volleyball in primary school? It felt so nostalgic. I miss it so much. Thanks for listening, diary. I'll write again later. Hey, Mia, do you know? I simply volleyball with her. Oh. Is someone calling her phone? Ah. <laughs> and there she goes. Her phone wasn't even turned on. At least give a better excuse, right? <laughs> no one would care about this kind of stuff. Yes, with my diary, I avoid getting hurt, but still, I wonder why I feel like to have a real friend. I really do wish you a real person, diary. I'm not insulting you, it's just sometimes I get so, so lonely.